next group is font formatting group okay this is font formatting group okay the first command is font this is the font command use this tool to change the font face okay this command is used to change the font face for example here if you select this text too, okay there are many fonts out there okay if you click this font it get changed clear no if you if you want this font it get changed you can select any font here clear no next second one font size this command is used for changing the font size this command is used for changing the font size okay for example here so at present it is 10.5 okay if you want more you can okay you can uh, decrease also you can increase also okay you can change the font size clear no next bold okay make the selected text bold okay this is bold option okay if you click this one and if you click bold okay it get bold okay it is in dark color next italic make the selected text to be italic just click it here and click italic okay the text display in italic color just get cross next underline okay next underline okay underline the selected text using the drop down button you can get the double underline okay you just select it and click underline okay if you want double underline just click on drop down here click double underline okay it displays double underline clear no if you don't want click again clear no underline if you want underline click select the text which you want to do underline then click here okay next increase font size okay so this is increase font size you can increase the font size from this font size also or we can click here also okay increase the font size it goes on increasing next to decrease font size it decreases the font size decrease the font size clear no minimum is 8 okay decrease and increase the font size next to borders this is the border okay suppose if you want this border here for this two line you want border here just select it then click border clear no you get border here okay you can see just click select here and click it here it display the border clear no okay. next to uh, fill color okay fill color this command is used for coloring the background of the selected cell okay if you want you just click the cell then click fill color okay it fill the color okay just click the cell then which color you want you just fill it clear no click the cell and fill it okay next uh, font color okay font color use this tool to change the text color okay suppose you want to change the color click it and change okay it change to red color if you want to change other color click on drop down okay and select the color okay you can change the color of the text next to font dialog box okay so if you click this font dialog box okay use this to show the font tab of the format okay this is the font dialog box okay here the many options are there clear no okay use this to show the font tab of the format cell dialog box okay it comprises of the following tabs number alignment font border fill and protection tabs okay it contain many tabs here number alignment font border fill protection etc clear no okay next alignment group okay next group is after font next group is alignment okay in alignment group first command is top align okay this is top align okay what is top align okay adim this is the text here if i click top align the text move in the top of the cell clear no if i click center it come to center if i click down it come to down clear no if i click top it go top like this clear no if you want center you click click center that is middle center okay that is center okay and this is down okay and this one is 
left it already left if you click center it is plain center if you click right it is plain the right okay see for example here okay i click here okay well, i type uh, x here okay if i click center it come to center if i click right it go to right if i click left it go to left like this clear no okay so all our alignment next to decrease indent okay if you, this is a decrease indent okay if you click okay first just click increase indent okay if you click increase indent the text move the the indent get increase okay start from that position if you click decrease indent to it move to left side it decrease the indent okay next orientation use this command to rotate selected text okay to a diagonal or vertical angle orientation okay clicking the drop down button of the command you get more options like angle clockwise rotation vertical text okay these all are options are there okay just see your example okay so example kud okay okay this is orientation okay there are many options are there okay if i if you click like this it is place okay there are many options are there you can rotate also okay there are many options are there clear no it is about orientation clear no next after orientation wrap text okay so what is the wrap text is see suppose example okay say example here employee id the id is cross this cell no okay so what i do i just increase the cell size okay then click it then click wrap text the id come down so in one cell you can display whole text the whole heading you can display clear no by using wrap text you can take text to down next merge and center okay so this is what uh, this heading is in merge and center okay suppose uh, this heading is uh, from a to j okay so suppose i just want to okay this is normal text okay if i select this text okay uh, from a to j cells a to j and if i click merge and center it display in the center from a to j clear no okay if i select this cell okay then if i click merge and center it's merge and center whatever i type here okay that display in the center of this three cells okay center of these three cells how much cells you want that many cells you have to select then you have to click merge and center clear no okay this is about to okay next last alignment dialog box okay this alignment dialog box okay so here also many options are there okay By clicking on the alignment dialog box, you open the format cells dialog box.